you guys. Welcome to your energy check-in for Scorpio. This is going to be for your uh, June, second half of your June, from the 16th to the 30th. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Scorpio. Energy testing for Scorpio. Over energies for Scorpio for the second half of their June from the 16th to 30th for Scorpio. For Scorpio. We have ghost land, ghost lands. We have heal the ouch. So this is about healing anything that has been keeping you stuck in life. Your pain, your traumas, you know, past relationships here. I mean, this could also be indication that, you know, perhaps, you know, when it comes to your health, some of you guys could have gone down a rabbit hole and trying to figure out what was wrong and things are, you know, things are getting better here when it comes to your health here, okay? Ghost lands, we have heal the ouch, and then we have storm fields, okay. If that's so interesting. I don't want to continue talking about the health thing, but I do feel like there is a storm that's coming here that you need to prepare yourself here, okay? So I, I, I do feel like this is regarding a home, okay? This is regarding your stability here. I mean, something here could, could completely shift in at any moment here okay so i feel like there could be some sort of setbacks that could be happening here when it comes to your stability here when it comes to your home life when it comes to your finances here you know some of you guys could be some of you guys could be feeling like okay i'm healing the ouch things are starting to stabilize things are starting to balance out but i feel like something is going to be some something's gonna be pulled from you under the rug here okay so what else do we have here for scorpio what else does scorpio need to know look out for work on for the second half of june from the 16th to the 30th for scorpio for scorpio for scorpio Try that again. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. There's definitely some sort of disappointment here. Some sort of regret here that someone here is experiencing. I don't know. I feel like someone's relationship is about to change. Now, if we talk about a relationship here where I feel like you're trying to heal the pain and the hurt that you're dealing with in the relationship and things are not getting better here, I mean, the storm that's coming here is that this, or you could be choosing to end the connection here that you no longer feel like you belong in. You know, I just feel like some here is feeling disappointed, feeling stuck, feeling, feeling like things are not going anywhere. You know, feel, it feels like things are, you know, your time's being wasted here. Okay, there is a situation that you're disappointed in where I feel like someone here has been consistently lying to you here, okay? Now, going back to the home situation here, someone here needs, you know, full protection when it is full insurance protection when it comes to their home. Because I feel like at some point, I feel like someone here is going to need it, okay? What else do we have here for Scorpio? The lovers, Gemini energy. The strength card, Leo energy. And the Ace of Cups here. Okay. I mean, there could be a storm that's coming in for you when it comes to love or romance here too. 
Could be that there, if someone here has been lying to you, there could be a secret that could be revealing itself here. Yeah, I feel like there's a situation that you're feeling very stuck in and just really, really disappointed here with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. There's just a lack of balance and harmony and stability in this connection that you're in here. With the Ten of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords, wow. I do feel like someone here has been lying to you about something here. Uh, you know, it could be a situation that someone here just has really poor self-control. Okay, someone here can, just cannot control themselves, and I feel like someone here had like a lapse in judgment here, all right, or that they will. Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? The lovers, the nine of pentacles here. I feel like someone here is about to be re really let down. Like it's almost like a like things are going well, well or someone here feels like things are going well in their relationship or in the connection here, and someone here is about to have the rug the rug pulled from under them. Yeah, tell me the strength card here. Strength in the world. Mm. Ace of Cups and the Star Aquarius energy. There is an abrupt shift that's coming here, abrupt, abrupt change. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's going to be very, very, very unexpected. I feel like something is going to be pulled from you, pulled from you under the rug. You know, it could be, you know, someone close to you where someone here could have some, some sort of health issue here or some sort of health crisis, you know? But there's going to be some sort of huge shift that's happening. But I also get the sense that if there is some sort of health issue, some sort of health crisis here, I do feel like someone here is going to overcome it or someone here is overcoming it. Okay. Interesting. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Fool. Aries energy. Fool. And the Ace of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like there is a relationship where I feel like you've been feeling like things are going really, really well. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with here could be moving towards a new beginning here and not say, and not say anything about it. It's almost like I feel like you feel like there's a storm coming too. There's a storm brewing. And I feel like this partner that you've been dealing with here could be keeping some sort of secret about, you know, leaving you and they're not letting you know. You know, and that's why you feel like it might come as a surprise to you because you feel like things are going really well and then out of nowhere, they just kind of like dip out on you and then they leave for no reason. They don't, you know, say anything. They just dip out, okay? So yeah, I feel like some here's about to get some sort of huge surprise here when it comes to your relationship. There's a lot going on here for you, Scorpio. Overall, too. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.